Hello, I'm Reverend Michael Lugford, and I have the honor of being in team ministry along with the Reverend Chris Elizabeth Wynn at Cole Harbor Woodside United Church. In the reflection that I offered last week, I shared concern about the ways in which anger is reflected from within ourselves into the world these days. And I shared that we need to be aware of the ability to offer forgiveness. When we offer forgiveness as Christians, we do it not necessarily only for the sake of the other, but for our own sake as well. Our being able to forgive is part of our healing, as well as opening a healing in relationship. I want to stress that forgiveness does not mean condoning or accepting a wrong, but rather it is offered as a part of healing. As humans, we can only have a very broad and basic understanding of the nature of God, but we have learned and observed that God is by nature always drawing us into healing and wholeness, into God's shalom. Father Richard Rohr, building on philosopher Ken Wilber, writes that at its best, religion helps us to create meaning as people, as societies. It offers us myths and narratives, rituals, and a consolation within ourselves, that sense of forgiveness that occurs not only in the context of the now, but in the life beyond the now. Religion, when done well, also offers us an opportunity and a way of radical transformation and liberation. Rohr says when we engage in this well, it moves us toward mature spirituality. It moves us beyond our own individual and separate selves and into a union with God, with the divine. When religion is working well, this is the result. When we are united within the very being of God. When religion, however, is not working well, we tend to dive deeply into what we hope will be a sense of sureness or security. We begin to deal in absolutes and certainties. We see this when religion expresses itself in ways that are exclusionary to certain facets of society. In so much of our human experience, it is the absolute belief in a religious perspective or a political system or social construct that leads to deep pain and suffering toward the other, usually the most disadvantaged within a society. As people of faith, Richard Rohr points out, when we lose sight of a prophetic voice in our tradition, calling us to that union with the divine, that immersing, immersing ourselves in the very being of God, we turn into a group of people who are self-serving or self-perpetuating, self-promoting. Without the prophetic vision reminding us of the call to the divine, we lose out on our ability to engage in real transformation and offer true liberation for all. When we forget the call to transformation and liberation, our sense of mission and our message of hope gets lost. Jesus' call was always to be striving to hear the voice and find the position of the other. We need to be aware of trying to define God and God's path rather than concentrating on seeking God and discerning a way of compassion and hope for people. We cannot speak of God as though we have an absolute knowledge or understanding, but rather 
We need to see the things around us that point us to the divine. To use that well-known phrase, the finger pointing at the moon is not itself the moon. Father Richard Rohr shares this thought. The spiritual journey moves us from the understanding that our group is God's chosen people, even in our imperfection, and moves us to a place of seeing and knowing that all people, in fact, all of creation are God's beloveds, are made in God's image, and are equally imperfect in our reflection of that divinity. Don't waste your time calculating degrees of imperfection. Don't waste our time pointing at the imperfections of others. But rather, know that the imperfection that is within us is the pattern that draws us towards God's great self and very being. When we in the church hear this prophetic voice, when we realize that each and every person is called to be God's own, and we move towards ensuring that each person is that image of God that they were created to be, then we are fulfilling our call, our mission, and we bring hope into our world. Just a thought or two.